Hey, what's up guys? We are going to play the first mission on Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands game. Mission is called uh, Amaru's Rescue. Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Ooh, uh. Okay, so um, first thing you want to do is get into this vehicle with your squad mates. I will be playing with squad mates today. And just follow the yellow brick road. Let's go. And there we go. Driving, oh, I'm almost hit the mountain there. So, how are you guys liking this game? I love it myself. I think it's uh, very good. The graphic looks awesome. It reminds me a little bit of. Uh, mixture between GTA Online and uh, the Far Cry games, Far Cry 4 specifically. What the gameplay reminds me a little bit of too. I used to play a lot of Call of Duty but kinda got tired of the whole running and gunning and halo jumping uh, things on there. Oh, fucking hell! Fender Bender there. Um, but again, I like the fact that this game is uh, a lot slower, but also a lot more tactical than the normal shooters that we're used to. We should almost be coming up to the next checkpoint here. There it is. We're just gonna park our vehicle right here get out. Um, first guy is up there but we're just gonna go a little closer because it should pop up a little tutorial on recon. Let's see here. Take time to mark enemies and their defenses. Press up on the d-pad to use the drone and press down on the d-pad to use your binoculars. So let's see. Press down on the d-pad. Once you grab your binoculars and you can zoom in and zoom out to do some recon and get some get some enemies tagged and stuff like that. Now let's take this guy out. There we go. go down. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Got eyes on the target. Let's move. Synchronized shot. Aim a target and press A to sync mark it. Then shoot or hold A to initiate the sync shot. And then co op sync marks helps you prepare your assault. Very interesting. Spotted one with submachine guns. Drone Let's pull out the drone here. So we got a target there. We got a target there. We got some supplies there. We got another target there. There. So again, hold A. Oh, sorry, press A to mark a target. Now, as I shoot this guy, they will take out that guy. Tag the supplies. Supplies are basically resources that you need to upgrade skills throughout the game and hopefully during this particular video we'll level up to level 2 and you'll see how that works with upgrading your skills Target there down. he's down right. got some more supplies here now the game has different types of resources, different types of supplies, and they'll 
correspond with different types of skills that you can upgrade. So there is our objective. It's important that we do not kill our objective from a distance. Because we first have to interrogate him to get more information on where this Amaru guy really is. gonna wait for him to move back over to the other side so we can take out the guard in that little watchtower there hey we got an arco with the submachine gun over there near that crate of comp gear oh my squad mates are tagging on the enemies I don't remember if he can come all the way through here Oh, let's walk up to him now. Hold X to grab him. And then press Y to interrogate him. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No enciendas? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you! We need to get this done in a hurry. Maru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Okay, so. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. There, we got maybe, four maybe. enemies down here, if I'm not mistaken. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to there. take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. So, let's let them take one. Weapons free, weapons free. And then there's one more to the side there. Let's get moving. In the Cartel building. Gonna wait around for us to track down and risk or maybe alarm. behind it, but he's somewhere back there. Looks like he's in the building. Yes, he was. Let's tag these supplies. These little radios, you shoot them, they go out. It's kind of a neat feature because after you hear all the dialogues go in several times, then you may get sick of it. You may want to turn that off. Now, to the back here, there is a little document that we can pick up as well. So let's grab that. I just walk over until it's prompted X to take document. There we go. And level 2. Okay, so before we do that skill upgrade, another thing that I want to show you is the loadout. <coughs> so, the supply crates. Hold Y to change your loadout. Because um, you always start out with an assault rifle, the P416. Um, but you can swap that out for the G36C, which is a weapon that I prefer. Uh, now, in order to get that G36 scene, you do have to download your Ubisoft Club app. And um, you can get in there. It's, a co it's completely free. You don't have to pay anything for it. And as you play the game, you will unlock credits that will be added to your account in that Ubisoft app. Which you can use to um, purchase uh, other outfits, glasses, hats, weapons, all sorts of stuff. So now let's take a look at that skill. Uh, so you just scroll over to skills. In this case, there's a bunch of them that are available. I'm going to go for the extra sync shot on my squad mates. Yes, I would like to purchase that. Basically what that did is that allowed me to mark two targets for my squad members to shoot at instead of just one so it gives me an 
additional target that we can take out now in a short period of time. Okay, I'm ready with the mission, so we're going to go back in the vehicle and we're going to continue on that yellow brick road. There we go. I do like the handling of the cars in this uh, in this game. The handling of the oh another Fenway banner. The handling of the helicopters not so much. It's not bad, but I I just think it could have been better. They are a little slow a little slow for my liking. And also I don't like the fact that you have to actually basically hover in May there if you want to gain altitude you cannot gain altitude and keep going at the same time now I don't know if that's realistic or not I've never flown a helicopter I do not know how to so maybe that's why they did that because that's helicopters operate in real life which actually would make it a good feature then again because it would be more realistic I also think they did a really good job on the on the layout and the graphics of this game. Quite the philanthropist. Right. Money laundering? Worse. A kind of student exchange program. She takes Bolivian teens and sends them north to the US, east to Europe. I'm guessing they never make it to the Eiffel Tower. Drug mules. What happens if they refuse? Santa Blanca probably holds their families hostage here. Any of the teenagers ever get away? As far as I could tell, only one. But as soon as he did, Lydia Flores sent his parents and two sisters to El Pozolero. Pozolero? The stew maker. He puts people in 200 liter drums with water and sodium hydroxide. After eight hours, there's nothing left teeth, nails, and a stew. Usually they're already dead before they go in the drum. This time they weren't. The fucking monsters. Okay, so here we are. Coming up on a Toyo farm. Stealth tutorial. Press or double tap Y to use your handgun for a stealthy approach. Press B to crouch and hold B to go prone. And detection arrows indicate who is spotting you. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. Okay, so I believe there are seven enemies here that we have to take out. And after that, we will be able to rescue Mr. Amaru. Let's see, Target number five. Two, three, four, five. That's number six. And number seven. Yo, cartel gunman. Where you got him? By the helo. There. So let's go over to the other side first, because uh, again, this is a game that you want to play nice and slow and tactical. It's not like Call of Duty. So we have that skill shot upgrade. I'm moving to position. Target acquired. Good to go. Oh, uh, he's getting a little close to the other guys for my liking. He's probably gonna alert everybody. Let's go prone, just in case. I'm just gonna crawl over to the other side. Oh, I forgot to put my suppressor on. They're on alert. So they are down. He is 
these down. Take him out. That's the plan. He's down. They saw me, which is not good. Let's wait for my squad mates to take him out now. Shouldn't have much of an issue with that. One more guy to go. There. That should take care of him. Clear over here. So let's grab these supplies. Let's refill our ammo. Oh, and uh, by the way, the suppressor, if you aim down the sights and you press up on your D-pad. See, now it's off. And do the same thing, so hold down sight. Press up on your D-pad to attach it back to your weapon. Okay, so final stage of the mission. Oh, wait, there is a weapons case here. Oh, I believe this one gives you a scope, a panoramic scope, if I'm not mistaken. Awesome. I can put this to use. Yes, it does. So in your loadout, you'll always be, a always be able to, uh, to customize your weapons according to your liking, based on what you pick up along the way. Okay, so you just knock off the lock, walk over to him, and then hold X to you lead, What's left of him, which means that he will follow you. I'm getting you out of here. Or he should. There we go. Hey, come on so now we just get into that chopper. Wait for them to join us. And then we'll, we'll be on our merry way. Tutorial on the helicopters. Press RT to throttle up and use LT to throttle down. Then push the left thumbstick forward and backward to adjust your pitch. And release the right trigger while using the left thumbstick to perform a quick turn. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces Pacatari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. So they're on our way to the objective, and that should take care of the mission. We get a little bird's eye view here of beautiful Bolivia. I wonder how accurate the landscape is to what Bolivia really looks like. If anybody has ever been there and is able to comment on that, please feel free to do so. And again, the, the handling of the chopper is its not difficult. Just, they feel like they move a little slow. Hey, be honest. Y'all ever tried it? Tried what? You know. Okay, no. Of course not. Come on, man. Yeah, me neither. How about you? Officially? Hell no. And off the record? Uh, twice, but just to see what it was like. Hold up. You did it twice just to see what it was like? Yeah, man. The first time I was too fucked up to remember, so I had to do it again.
There. Now let's just hope for a nice and smooth landing. out a little part of a fence but that will be reimbursed by the government um, so you definitely do not want to forget about this weapons case because this weapons case holds a sniper rifle which is going to come in very handy um, for the next few missions so let's change our loadout real quick oh let's again change our loadout real quick put that sniper rifle on there go and we are going to extract Omarus to actually rescue him are you hurt Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts are you hurt look at the guy of course he's hurt covered in blood moaning Walking difficult. What did you think he was? To make me vomit. But their methods were not. Were not. Were their names Yuri and Polito? See, si. Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned them. I want them bad. We only saw run of the mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's got to know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Hey, que pasa? There, and that concludes the first What's mission. Up? Bowman's file on Yuri and Plito is coming through. Um, so I hope that this was, uh, this guide was a little helpful for you. It may help you complete this mission That's by yourself as well. Uh, let me know what you thought about it by clicking that like button beneath the video and subscribe if you want to. And leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. Thank you very much.